look I'm in second gear right here okay and I'm just gonna rip I'm just gonna crank the throttle that's it watch <laughs> see that I didn't do any clutch up guys that's pure torque I absolutely love Yamaha motorcycles now they're the number one motorcycle to me my first Yamaha motorcycle was at 2014 Yamaha WR250R which was awesome it got me in love with the the dual sport world then of course I got my, my 2019 YZ450 FX that I turned into a custom street legal supermoto, which I did a full build series on. Uh, and then, of course, I got that, that Yamaha MT-09. Oh, man, the torque on that bike was awesome. Yamahas are the best. They make the most awesome motorcycles to me, man. The most reliable at a pretty good price. And uh, just, you can't go wrong with a Yamaha. But you know what? There is one motorcycle the Yamaha needs to build now. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I tell you this, guys, whatever bike you ride, make sure you wear the gear to stay safe out here on the streets. If you want to get some awesome gear like mine, I, I have links to it, like my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my Motovlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe, jacket, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of my video. Woo, baby! <laughs> I love that torque. All kinds of torque on this bike, man. Oh, I love this bike. Lightweight. But I'm going to tell you guys, the bike that they need to build, which I will buy it immediately. I'd be one of the first ones to buy it if they do. And I don't know why they're not. Or maybe they are and they're just not telling us. But they need to build a cruiser, a power cruiser that can compete with the Triumph Rocket 3 and the Ducati XD Avail or the obviously the Diablo 1260. They're pretty much the same bike but a, bit, a little bit different uh, features on them. Those are those power cruisers are the best cruisers in my opinion power cruisers that you can buy on the market right now Only those two man No other ones can compete with that right now as far as the new motorcycles and I'll tell you guys that Yamaha needs to revive the VMAX man With that awesome V4 engine redo it make it lighter weight Make it compete like I said with if they could put it in a package like the Ducati XD Avail, which I owned in the past, which I thought was the most amazing bike, or cruiser, should I say, ever. Uh, and the only reason I got rid of that bike is because I didn't trust the reliability on it because I had a, you know, a problem with the rear brake on it that went out and, uh, and the, the belt drive, was it, it encouraged rocks to hit up underneath and you snap a belt on that, you're out you know anywhere from seven hundred to a thousand dollars it's too rich for my taste but if Yamaha can build a bike like the x that's 542 pounds wet which is lightweight for a cruiser crazy lightweight for a cruiser of that magnitude it's got that 1262 Tesla Strata L twin engine that is awesome on that bike if they do that and they, they put that V4 on a new VMAX <laughs> with a lightweight package redo the engine I'm telling you guys they got my order I'll be ordering one man like I said there is a beauty to, to cruising on a motorcycle but I like to have the power of the sport but I love to have the, the foot stomping torque and power like the XD Avail had it was just and the feeling of that engine was just amazing and I hear the V4 on the VMAX is awesome and uh, you know what I'm saying? That's a bike actually I want to get, but what kind of detracted me from getting the VMAX is it's such a heavy bike, man. It's like almost what, like 600, some almost 700 pounds. It's too much, man, for me. I, it's crazy when you got an XD Avail that's 542 pounds. And if they can come up with a price that's similar to the previous VMAXs, come up with something less than 20,000, like 18,000, you know, kind of price maybe about a couple of thousand even if it's the same price as the XD Avail I would buy it guys 
the XT Avail, I think the, 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 the base model was, I think, like 19,000, 18, 19,000. The S model was like, or maybe it was like 20,000, and the S model was like 25. I paid 50, like 14.5 <laughs> for that 2016 back in 2017 for that XT Avail. I got an absolutely epic deal on it, man. Yamaha, I'm telling you, revive the VMAX to compete with the X, with Ducati and Triumph. All the motorcycles are selling well now, man. I'm telling you, right now is the most beautiful time for motorcycles. Go to a dealership and you will hardly see any motorcycles. Like, people are buying them up like crazy, man. Prices on used bikes command top dollar. I was looking at used bikes and some of them were more expensive than the new ones. I was like, man, I ain't paying them prices for no used bike and then the new ones, you, if you don't put in a pre-order right away, you, you're not going to get one of those bikes. They're all sold out, man. It, that's why it's been tough for me to get another bike. I, I've been wanting to get a, uh, the Surron X, um, which is an electric motorcycle. It looks like a mountain bike, man, but you can actually mod it to do 80 miles an hour. And it's, it's something I wanted to use for my, my country property and to be stealth out here on the, on the streets down south here without actually having to register it. Which would be awesome here because I, you know, I'm Ohio resident still. This is just a vacation home, a winter home for me here. So I'm, I'm registered in Ohio um, and plan to keep it that way for now at least. So what do you, what do you guys think? I want to hear your opinion on it, on what you guys think, and I'd love to hear from from you guys. And if you think that is awesome or not, I want to hear from you guys. That's why I do these videos to incite community discussion. Um, Cause I'm telling you guys, I, I really want to get another bike, but I, 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 it's hard. It's hard right now, man. Because like I said, everybody's buying the bikes up, and I'm always, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of waiting for that really super sick bike that you know that to come out where I can put that order in as soon as it hits, <laughs> put that pre-order in, and bam, you know. So I, I don't know, man. You know, I, I, but meanwhile, I'm absolutely loving this bike here which is absolutely awesome. I absolutely love this Supermoto. I highly recommend all you guys get a 450 Supermoto, man. Woo, you just rip it, boy. <laughs> Ain't no cops out here either, baby. Yeah. Time to head home, baby. <laughs> out here in the country. Um, but I'm having also trouble on which side-by-side -side to get. Tell me, should I get a 50-inch model? Because that... You know, the 50-inch side-by-sides, which you can get in a 1,000cc package, um, those are awesome because they're wide, they're, all, they're, they're narrow, so you can pretty much take them on a lot of the trails that are for the quads and stuff, you know, and the more narrow trails. And some places don't even allow, you know, wider than a certain amount of a width. Uh, so I just want to be able to get in the most parks that I can get into uh, with the side-by-side. -side. But anyways, guys, I'm a home sweet home here, baby. <laughs> but anyways guys make sure to leave a comment hit thumbs up it really helps my channel when you do that subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.